In this demo, you will learn more about a new Enterprise Cloud Computing Reference Architecture, jointly developed by F5 and IBM. This reference architecture is based on hands-on lab experience. It provides a foundation for organizations to deliver more agile IT services to ensure faster results and improved success rates. In our first demo, we showed how this architecture can be used within a single data center to dynamically provision applications through manual initiation as well as through automated provisioning. In this demo, we will show you how the scenario can be extended to multiple data centers. While automated provisioning in a single data center is a huge step forward, cloud computing requires that resources can be transparently extended beyond a single physical location. For the purpose of this demo, we'll take a look at how provisioning works in an automated scenario. Within the data center, Big IP Local Traffic Manager, or Big IP LTM, is used to manage traffic among servers. Here, in the multiple data center scenario, Big IP Global Traffic Manager, or Big IP GTM, is also used, and it manages application traffic among the data centers to point users to the closest or best performing data center. Big IP GTM works to continuously survey the health and availability of each data center. It compares the data it retrieves to preset performance thresholds. As a user requests an application, Big IP GTM determines which data center is closest or most available. This decision could be based on geolocation data or simply on throughput thresholds, which indicate that a data center is approaching its maximum level of traffic for a given application. Here, in response to the application reaching a utilization limit in data center 1, Big IP GTM publishes an event notification to the message bus. This notification initiates an automated workflow to provision additional application resources, just like in our first demo. However, because Big IP GTM is reporting that the application is exceeding a threshold in Data Center 1, the orchestrator must provision the new application instance in Data Center 2. To deploy the application, the orchestrator collects the required application configuration metadata and state. This may include the name of the application, application type, SSL offload profile, and port information. In this scenario, the metadata is already available because it was entered by the server administrator and published in DNS when the application instance was originally deployed. Next, the orchestrator sends the data it collected to the cloud controller in Data Center 2, telling it to deploy a new application instance. This message is sent through a secure, optimized and encrypted tunnel between the Big IP LTM devices in each data center using the Big IP WAN optimization module. Next, the hypervisor requests the application image from the cloud file system. The storage virtualization device retrieves the application image via NFS from the appropriate storage tier. This too happens through the secure and optimized tunnel. Once the orchestrator receives the event notification, it executes an automated workflow. The orchestrator uses proprietary API or CLI commands to configure each device or system involved using the information that was originally entered by the server administrator or retrieved from the existing metadata. Once the virtual machine is up and running, the virtual machine sends an event notification to the message bus. This notification alerts the orchestrator that the new virtual machine is available. The orchestrator then instructs Big IP LTM to make the new application instance available as it is running and ready to receive connections. The next time Big IP GTM receives a request for the application, it can send the user to Data Center 2 instead of Data Center 1, which is already overloaded. But what happens if both data centers are reaching capacity? Let's take a look. The same process can be accomplished with additional data centers and even public cloud environments. Just as we saw before, Big IP GTM will publish a message to the message bus indicating that both data centers have reached capacity. Also like before, the orchestrator instructs the cloud controller to deploy a new application instance but this time in the public cloud domain. 
Now, it's important to note that the process of creating a new application instance may vary among cloud providers. For example, many cloud providers already deploy big IP LTM devices in their infrastructure that might be used in exactly the same manner as those in your own data center. Big IP LTM Virtual Edition can also be used in supported cloud environments. On the other hand, you may rely entirely on your cloud provider for most services and use pre-positioned virtual machine copies. Regardless of the process, the requirements are minimal and easily met. Whatever the scenario, once the orchestrator receives the event notification, it executes an automated workflow, as we saw before. Each device or system involved is configured and notification is sent that the new application instance is running and ready to receive connections. This automated workflow, which was kicked off by Big IP GTM, resulted in the deployment of a new application instance in a completely new data center. And, as we have just seen, in the public cloud. The F5 and IBM cloud architecture can help your organization meet business demands. Learn more about this scalable cloud solution at f5.com/ibm.